Okay, this is how to work out a neutral axis or a centroid position or a position on the neutral axis for a, in this case, a T-beam or a beam that is, is non-symmetrical uh, in the longitudinal direction. So this is our little T and our T-beam is going to be 250 millimeters on the top section by 30 and then we have 100 millimeters by 50 meters on the second section. So we can split these into section number one and section number two. So what we need to work out is where are these little green dots which I've just placed on uh, the diagram here, where do they intersect with our um, position so we can work out where is our neutral axis on this beam. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a datum in where we're going to draw the datum is blue. Okay, so that's our datum. I'm going to call this datum. Okay, that's our datum line. What we want to do theoretically is say how far is my datum in this section and how far is my datum from this section to work out our two little blobs. So we're going to work out number one first. Now to find our neutral axis, okay, you have to pass through the centroids and you have to consider the T-beam is going to be two separate rectangles with which we're happy with. Each centre rectangle, one and two, have its, its own unique points. So what we're going to really say is that this little green dot here Okay, that one there, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, it's going to be half of 30. And this green dot here, it's going to be half of 100. So we know that's going to sit at 15, that's going to sit at 50. So what we can do is we can start to plot this. So what we're going to do is take moments. Okay, we're going to take our moments. Oh, pen's not working too well. Okay, I'm going to all take this from our datum. Take that from our datum. So what we're going to have is we're going to use this as our zero zero point as our datum. So moving furthest away, we're going to number one first. Okay, we know that actually our datum. So our datum runs here. Okay, we're going to come up. And hit our two plots. Now we know that this second data is going to be 50 because it's half of 100. This one here, we have to travel the full distance of, of 100 plus half of 30, so that's going to be 115. Put that one in here, my pen will work. Batteries running out. I'm just not playing board today. One, one, five. So then what we have, we have our two sections. Maybe we've got section number one, okay, which is going to be 250 by 30 by how far our datum is, 115. Number two, we're going to have 100 by 50. How many times that again by a distance away, 50. So then we have our moments. Okay, we can then basically plus, we can add these two together. So we can add one and two together. So 250 times 30 times 115 plus 100 times 50 times 50. Okay, that all in is going to then give us a nice calculated value. of 1.11 1 
times 10 to the power of 6 and this is the millimetres so in millimetres again the two areas so it's going to be power 4 for that one there so that's going to be our moment value this is our moment okay, it's our moment value so we have our moment and we're going to take it on moment for our distance now we know that our distance Okay, distance. Um, this can be from our datum, so from our base. Okay, that we know that this is going to be uh, our moment. Okay, over our area, so it's our total area. Okay. So we got that section there. So we know our moment. So we're going to punch this one in. Moment, which is 1.11 times 10 to the 6. Okay, over our totalized area. Well, we know our area is 1, which is 250 by 30. Okay, plus area number 2, which is going to be 100 by 50. So we pop that all into the calculator. Okay, and that will give us our grand total of 89 millimeters. So, what we can do, we can redraw this one now. Okay, we got our on top 30 150 draw a datum line and what we're saying is our neutral axis okay which we're going to say is here it's neutral or NA axis neutral axis we know sits from the datum of 89 89 millimeters away from our datum that's going to be our neutral point so that our beam is perfectly balanced that's how then you're going to work out your, your neutral zone or an irregular shape.